my name is Darren Wanoyama, and I'm uh, fighting UFC on Fox November 12th, and this is my video blog. So far, my training camp's been uh, really good. I've got a lot of good training partners. Um, got great coaches. Got Jay Gennaro. I've got uh, Robert Proc um, You know, Hal Crazy, Hal Crazy Jiu Jitsu, Yuji Uchida, um, Damian Norbosh, all helping me train. And then I've got my whole team from FTCC helping me uh, get ready. Some names that you know, might stand out are like Stephen Abbas, is a Olympic silver medalist. Uh, Donald Lockett wrestled Division Two. He, he actually has a pin victory over Frankie Edgar. Um, yeah, and then just basically my usual guys: Taylor McCorson, Ron, Ronnie Carrillo, Diego Cuenca. So it's going, it's going really, really good. I think we're getting a lot of good looks. Evan Escara, who's a southpaw. Plus, I'm going over to B Street Boxing, working out with Eddie Croft. So you know, we've got all the bases covered. We've got the jiu-jitsu the wrestling, the boxing, the Muay Thai, and then the, the all-together MMA. So I'm feeling really good about this, this training camp. Mainly the adjustments that I've made for kid is that uh, you know, dealing with uh, a southpaw really, that, that can cover a lot of range in a short period of time. Um, you know, most of my, my last few fights have been against southpaws. Um, a lot of my main training partners for a long time were Chris Cariasso, who also fights in the UFC as a southpaw, about the same dimension as Kid, that's the right hook, uh, comes with a Muay Thai background, and Evan Escara. So southpaws aren't really too foreign to me, and in fact, I kind of prefer fighting southpaws. Um, you know, just implementing uh, wrestling with very explosive wrestlers like Donald Lockett, uh, I think similar body type, and then. Uh, Two, we've got Derek Easterling, who's also pretty explosive, uh, jiu-jitsu brown belt, good, good wrestler, and very similar body type to Kid. It's like he's, he's just like uh, the, the best, yeah, copy of him in body type. You always have to be concerned about everybody's power. I think when you're fighting at this level, everybody can knock everybody out and has the potential to. So. You know, I gotta watch out for that. I gotta watch out. He's very explosive. Um, yeah, but the, the, the name of the game is hit him more often than he hits me, and then hit him before he hits me. So, uh, I mean, that's that's about it. I think everybody's power is a concern. Is my power a concern? I think should be the better question. He has 60 seconds to recover until he does this again. It's, it's exciting, you know, it's on uh, on a big stage. I've been fighting for a long time in, in Strike Force, Shudo, Deep, Dream. And, you know, everybody asks me, oh, you know, your ears are must messed up. Do you do UFC? And I, I always got to explain, no, I, f I fight in another organization. It's kind of like the UFC, but it's not really the UFC. And then their mind kind of wanders off. So now I can actually say, yeah, I, I fight in the UFC. Um, a lot of people have mentioned the UFC jitters because it's the first fight and I, I don't really feel the, the UFC jitters um, just because I've been fighting in bigger arenas and I think that's something that uh, they're anticipating me having but it's I, I don't really feel any, any jitters. This is uh, an, an opportunity to, for me to, to display my skills is how I see it. If you guys can, uh, check me out on Twitter and Facebook, I'm sure you can search my name. Um, and uh, stay tuned and we'll be doing this video blog I think up until the fight and uh, yeah hopefully you enjoy it maybe you guys can see a different aspect in, into the life of an MMA fighter and yeah that's it